we, where we live is very rural and he cycles on his bike to the village post office and uh, leaves his bike there and then gets the bus to school. But uh, when he didn't come back initially, I drove up to the post office, there was no sign of his bike. So I came home and thought, we thought, well, perhaps he decided to cycle all the way into school because he had done, he had, well, not on a school day, but he had cycled down um, to, to Colleton before. Um, but then when he still didn't appear, we started to get very, very anxious because it had never happened before. Mm. And What sort yeah. of a boy is he? Well, he, he's, I mean, he is quite adventurous. We've always encouraged the children to be sort of independent and, you know... Well, he, his siblings had just come back from sort of gap years, they've been yes, travelling around the world. Yes, yes and his older brother particularly has travelled quite extensively. Um, and um, we think, actually, he was quite anxious because his sister was just starting university this year and he wasn't looking forward to being... At, at home, home, on his own. On his own, yeah. um, with them both away. And he's at that age where, you know, as a 15-year-old, he doesn't want to do everything with his parents, but he's quite happy to do things as a family. And they're very close, very close with his siblings? Well, there's a bit of an age gap, and his older brother has been away for a year already. Um, and, of course, you know, his sister, being 18, has, has a sort of active social life. So I wouldn't say they were close, but, um, you know, we did... We did family things. holidays yes. together. Or, and, just and what about you guys, just in the, in the lead-up to, to him going, because we're going to read a letter in a moment that you received the next day from him. So this, yes. this, took, this took planning. He was ingenious in his planning. Yes. But no hints, no rows, no, no. concerns, no. nothing. No. no, this was which is so kind of baffling for us is we really didn't know. I mean, I did speak to him a bit over the summer because I was concerned that he wasn't socialising. Um, and sort of I talked to him about that and he sort of led me to believe that he thought when he went back to school that, you know, he would... Um, his friendships would improve. Um, so, and, you know, we asked him whether he was unhappy at school, um, but he said that you know he was he was happy at school he didn't appear to have any issues with it Did but he spend a lot of time online well he spent quite a bit of time in his bedroom over the summer which i you know and i used to go up there and sort of knock on the door and sort of find out what he was up to a little bit because it worried me but um he was an avid reader so he read a lot um and um, we did, you know, we, we talked quite openly about, um, you know, what he might have been doing online and that sort of thing, but he wasn't forthcoming. He really didn't want to share anything with us. Were you, the letter that you received the next day um, shed a little bit of light on this. It said, to mum and dad, I've run away because I'm bored of my life. Please don't try to find me or make me come home. I don't know how long I will be away for, but it won't be any longer than a year. You'll find my school uniform in a bin bag in a small barn in the field on the green down the road from Membry Church. My bike is chained to the fence. There is a spare key to the lock of the window. Please could you apologise to the restaurant and tell them that I will no longer be able to work there. I know you'll be upset, but understand that I have to to do this from Arthur. It, the fact that he says in this letter that he will return in under a year, mm. does that make it any easier? It does. It, it implies that he intends to come back and do his A-levels in two years instead of the, the three that his school normally do. Um, Which so, is what his sisters and brother did. They did yes. two years sick forms. But so I think, you know, in a way he's thinking of this as a, a gap year early or something. Um, but clearly he's only 15. He's, he's not spent much time in cities. He, you know, he's had a, a fairly quiet life in the country. He didn't take his us. passport. He only took £350 no. with him. No so mobile yes. phone. No mobile, no mobile phone. Phone. He took almost nothing. I mean, this is the other thing that we find baffling because he had done ten tours and we'd done camping trips and things. And we thought, well, if he was heading off, he would have gone equipped. I mean, he didn't even have waterproof shoes on his feet. So... Do you believe, looking at that evidence, that it looks like he knew where he was going, this wasn't a chance, I'm going to disappear in a puff of smoke, he knew where he was well, going? Well, the problem is that there's absolutely no evidence. The police have been through his phone and they found no search history, nothing. No to CCTV? No, no CCTV We've looked at footage. hundreds of hours of, of camera footage in the local area and there's been no I mean, sign of it. odd in itself, isn't it? it You'd is. think that was nearly impossible nowadays. Well, yeah. Yes, I mean, it really is baffling. I and he took hair clippers as well, so there's every possibility, which yes. is a strange thing to take, but 
there's every possibility he could then he now uh, have a shaved head so he could look yes. completely yes. different. Yes. We think that that was probably to try and make himself look older. Mm. Um, well, you know, his friends haven't had any contact that you know of. Uh, you as a family haven't. No online presence whatsoever. What you do have now is a is a camera, and it's that one there. And what would you like to say to him if he's watching today? Arthur, please, please, just make contact with us. We, we, we're just desperate to know you're safe. I just don't think you can possibly realise how agonising this has been for us. If you don't want to ring home, um, there's a charity called Missing People um, and the number is 116 000 and you can talk to them confidentially and they'll pass messages on to us. Um, but better still, just come home or, or ring us and we'll pick you up from anywhere. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank I you. hope you're getting into this pain very soon. Thank you.